What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make cinematic black flashes in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Now just before we get into this video, let's like say this is a requested tutorial, as you'll see right here, I got this as to me on Skype. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So, the clip I'm going to be using to make these black flashes is this one right here. It's from Splinter Cell, and let's see what it is. So that's a little clip from the street chase of the video. So what I'm going to be doing is making black flashes onto that and let's get to it. So first of all go ahead and drag your clip into Sony Vegas like this. Now obviously click on the video, right click it, click properties, disable for example and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Now the next thing, find out where you want the flashes to start. So I want it after he shoots the rocket. So as the rockets come towards it, like there. So I'm going to start it right there. So I'm going to have one flash here. So this is where you press S on your keyboard to split it and we'll make the flash two. So use your arrow keys by pressing right, so 1, 2, or you can use these right here. So 1, 2, and then press S again. And this is going to be a black flash right here, and you'll see how in a minute. So we'll keep going like that. Now depending how fast you want your black flashes to come in, the gap between each flash is up to you. For me, right now, I'm going to pick 3. So 1, 2, 3. Then I'm going to press S again. Go 1, 2. And then, so this is what it's going to look like. Here's a little clip of what it'll look like, so you'll see right now. You see there was a little quick two flashes right there, so that is how I'm going to have it for now. And then I'm just going to keep going like that. So 1, 2, 3, press S, 1, 2, S again, and then I'm going to drag this down right here. So you can see it says opacity, just drag that down to zero. And then that is it. So I'm going to keep going, 1, 2, 3, S, 1, 2, S again, and drag it down. So I'm going to do that until about up to this part up. And I'll be back to you when I've done it. Now one thing I actually want to do, as you can see, the rocket's getting closer. So as the rocket gets closer, I want to shorten the gap between the flashes. So I'm actually going to put it to 2. So 1, 2. And then I'm going to put a 1 second flash here. Like that. So again, 1, 2. Sp uh, S. 1 gap there. Drag it down. So now we've got a second flash. So I've done up to there. Let's see what it looks like so far. you can see that is what I've planned to do I've made it start off a bit of a slower flash and then it got faster as it went on so now which is literally closer to hitting I'm gonna add a bit more flashes and we'll see what it looks like so this time I'm gonna add the same two gaps and then one like that and I'm gonna go like that until it hits so let's see what we've got here now and it hits now one thing I'm actually going to do to this is actually alter the way they've done it. So I'm actually going to add a black overlay onto the part up to there. So the way you can do this is come to solid color, insert a new video track first so it's above here, and then I'm going to add a black on top of it, and you'll see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add this right there, so before it hits, I'm just going to play through it, about there. So what it's going to do is it's going to flash, and then it's just going to go to a black screen, and then bang it's going to hit. So let's go ahead and see what I've done. So that is what I've done. I've added that little black right there. So they do it in cinematics. That's where I've got it from. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that without it so you can see the difference. So here we go. Maybe without the black thing it is better. Let's just see. Yeah, maybe without it is better. But... There's just a little tip for you what you can add into your edits as well. So that is it. That is how simple it is to do. All you gotta do is change your opacity. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think Sony Vegas Pro 11 have this feature right here where you can drag it up and down. With If that is the case, what you do with this is get your flashes, so the part where the flashes are supposed to be. So right now I'm just gonna go and get them. Okay, so I've got all the flashes. And what you wanna do is actually drag them onto a new video track. So let's say you don't have this right here if you're on Sony Vegas Pro 11. Okay, so as you can see, the flashes where they're supposed to be are visible. So this is for Sony Vegas Pro 11 people. They're still visible. All you need to do is come here and just just shut it off like that. 
It's basically the same thing without doing that. So if we go ahead and watch it. You still get the same effect, it's just a different way of doing it. And the same for Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13 users. You can do it this way as well, it's up to you. But obviously for those on 12 or 13, have the ability to just go ahead and drag this down like that. So that is it. That is how you make cinematic black flashes. So yeah, that is it for this video. Hopefully it has helped you and hopefully now you can go ahead and use this in your edits. And like I said, start the video if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my game channel post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to have a Snapchat or just see what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.